Greetings and salutations, YouTube. It's getting here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. We're starting off today's cooking video at the house because I just noticed that I accidentally forgot to film a intro for this video and <laughs> I actually filmed this video like a while back and I just filmed the haul for it right now um so everything's like fresh in my mind I'm very very excited so um we're going to go to Veterans Thrift today in Pomona it's one of my favorite thrift stores and I'm really excited to take you guys along with me but first of all if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, Home decor videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the little bell button so you know if I have a new videos to go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian. Just like it's spelled here. Check out my shop. It's Hadrian.com to see whatever sale from my thrifting adventures. Where uh, some of these items might actually be in the shop by the time this video goes up. Hopefully. I, I, I will try really hard to get it up there. Uh, but without further ado, let's hop over to the store and have some fun. Because it was a great day. I love it when I love future Hadrian talking to past Hadrian about an awesome thrifting experience. So, well, I'll see you guys there. Alright, you guys. There's a little line. Not as long as it usually is. You guys, I'm the next one in line. You guys have this cute Henry bundle, but it's $60. And this other one is also $60. Here's Camuto, $75. Alright you guys, we are at the handbags. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? It's almost like Chanel, but it's like, oh, it's one of those Thursday, Friday bags. Two bucks. No, oh, they still have this burger one. 25 dollars for this mark by mark really worn michael kors so i found this lucky penny bag that's like so cute the fabric's like a tiny bit worn but it's still so cute it reminds me of um the Hermes lindy seven bucks hmm what do you guys think Okay, you guys, you won't believe what I found, but I just found these Chanel, oh, these sneakers, but they are so cute. The number is, like, kind of rubbing off, but it's, like, right there, they're size 36. Chanel on the inside. Like, what do you guys think? Alright, I'm looking at the stuff inside the case. Michael Kors. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I just found an amazing find. An authentic Chloe tote. Paddington tote for only $35. Hot diggity dog. I was sad about the Chanel shoes, but now I'm very excited. I'm also not going to get those bags anymore, but I'm definitely going to get this. This was worth the trip. Ooh, look at these glasses. What does that say? Luminar, oh, Luminar. It's actually really pretty. There's a bunch of them too. But I don't really need any glasses at the moment unless they're like super fabulous, fantastic. You guys, I just found a Hydro Flask. But it's pretty beat up. And it's only five bucks though. What do you guys think? Maybe no, too beat up. Too beat up. Wait a minute, you guys. I just found a second hydro flask, and this one's only two dollars. <laughs> I mean, the bottoms are kind of beat up, but isn't that what the kids are gonna do anyway? Should I just get them so they could just like have some like throw around hydro flask? You can always practice painting on them too. I found like this cute suede hat, but it kind of has some stains or something along the sides, like they were trying to practice heat stamping it and stuff. But the hat is like cute on the front. I found another really cute hat. Look at this. This one's a good one. Alright, we are going through the shoes really quick and seeing if we can find anything cool. Oh, these coaches are nice. 50 bucks. And Klein. Little lion. These Balenciagas are here. They're half off now, but still kind of expensive. I'm gonna wait till they go 
75 and see if they're still here. Banana Republic. Oh, there's these Ferragamos right here. These are pretty cool. Steve Madden. Aldo. Zara Trafaluk. Michael Kors. Ooh, these Rebecca Minkoffs are pretty nice. Zara. Ooh, some Prada wedges, size 38. How cute are these coach like slip-ons? Those are fun. There's so many shoes to look at in so little time. I gotta get going already. Johnny Wojak or something. 24. Zero. Is that like a Vince Camuto? Oh, Vince Camuto. So many shoes, so little time. Look at these Birkenstocks. Ooh, $14.96. What size are these? Oh my gosh, mom has these Burberry shoes. So cute. Found these super cute Kenzo shoes. The backs are kind of like falling apart and so are the bottoms, but they're only seven bucks. They're adorable. I like the print a lot. Just left you guys, I got some great stuff. The line is super long. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house. I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today from the thrift. We got some pretty good stuff, but I wanted to go over some of the stuff that I saw in the store that I didn't like film because one, I was in a hurry. Two, I was asking to see stuff that was like in the cases and I hate like filming in front of people when they're like waiting for me because I'm like looking at stuff because I, I always feel like that's really awkward. So I just like take pictures of like the items really quick and then look at them and then give them back. So um, let's start off with what we saw. So uh, I didn't end up getting, first of all, that, uh, what was it called? Um, the Lucky Pe Lucky Penny bag. Um, it was really, really cute, but there was, I noticed there was, like, some holes in the fabric on the sides of the bag. So I decided to leave it, but the bag was so stinking cute, you guys. It was such a cute bag, and I wish, like, that it didn't have holes in it, and that, like, I could have gotten it. But it was, like, a really cute style. It reminds me of the Hermes Lindy, and I just love the Lindy so, so much. Especially the mini one. I don't know if you guys have seen the mini Lindy, but it is so gosh darn cute, like... I love that bag. Um, then, okay, so remember I showed you guys too the Chanel, I'm gonna show the photos too of these items, but that Chanel, the Chanel sneakers that were so, so cute. And I, at first I thought they were real, and then I thought that they were fake because I saw some uh, online that weren't the same, but then I sent photos also to my friend that authenticates, uh, and that is Free Range Birkin. I'm gonna have a link, but it's at Free Range Birkin on Instagram if you guys are interested in having anything authenticated. Tell me, he's say he'll give you a great deal. But uh, he said that they were actually vintage and that they were that they were in fact authentic. And I was like, ugh. But I'm gonna wait till they go on sale because they were a little expensive at $100. So I didn't get those. I just left them. Um, then I saw. Those Chanel boots that were in the case, and then the Louis Vuitton shoes. Uh, the Louis Vuitton shoes were like kind of cute, but like kind of old, so I like didn't really care to see uh, the shoes. Like, because even if they were real, I probably would have gotten them because they were like over a hundred dollars. Uh, how much were they? Did I take a picture of them? Uh, oh yeah, they were a hundred and seventy-four dollars and ninety-nine ninety-one cents. So didn't end up getting that, but. Then I saw those Chanel boots, which I thought were authentic at first, but I think they were missing something because they had like a little loop on the sides of them. So I didn't like, I, I, I was like, oh, it's like missing something like some sort of like belt that goes around the shoe or something. But I also sent photos of that to my friend and Free Range Birkin says it's not authentic. So I trust him, not authentic. Uh, so uh, definitely didn't get those. Um, and then can we talk about all of the shoes that I saw at the store, first of all? They had some really, really cute shoes, like those coach shoes with the fur. It looked kind of like the inside of an Ugg boot. 
<laughs> those those were such cute shoes. They were adorable. I really, really liked those. Um, but they were not anyone I know size. Like, I think maybe my sister might have been able to fit them, but they were... They would have been like too big or too small because I think she was like a five and a half or a six and a half and they were like a size six. Plus she doesn't wear shoes like that anyway. <laughs> They're not her style. But I thought they were really really cute. They had those Burberry sandals that actually mom owns these same pair of Burberry sandals and they were pretty cute but they were also pretty pricey at $75. Then I saw some shoes that I've never seen before and this is what I love about going to thrift stores and like learning about different brands and different things and like I've never heard of um and Angela Scott and I think the name of the shoes were the office of Angela Scott that I think that was like the style name or something but they're Angela Scott brand shoes her shoes are so expensive but then when I was looking at the shoes they look really 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 well made they are beautiful I love the style of them I really like them I think the shoes retail for about like 500 something dollars but these shoes were a hundred dollars so I'm going to wait for those to go on sale as well, but they were really, really cute, and I love this stripe, and I love the style of them, so I thought they were really cool shoes. I thought they were awesome. Then, there were those Kenzo shoes. Really, really cool, but the, they were kind of like falling apart at the seams, so unfortunately, didn't get those. Then, when I was paying at the register, they had a cool pair of Fendi sneakers, which I'm pretty sure were not authentic and they were literally falling apart like the little plastic pieces and stuff were just coming off and so I was just like nah like totally not worth it they were probably fake anyway plus they were also a hundred dollars so they were a little bit pricey and yeah didn't want to get those so but again they were really cute <laughs> and yeah those are like the most notable things oh and then we did see like the Henry Bendel bags the 200 Bendel bags I think they were $60 each at the very beginning we went to the store. Really cute, but they were both really worn. The gray bag had like lots of wear and tear on the corners and the orange, um, the orange bag had even more wear and that one was, um, it has like a certain finish to the bag and it was like kind of like embossed lizard and it was kind of like patent and then not patent with like the nap coming out on like the middle of the scales of the scales so that would be almost impossible for me to like try to fix up because I don't know how to repair or anything like that uh the gray bag um could be fixable with like a little bit of paint though it did also have a lizard print but it was only losing color on the sides which I think would be pretty like easy as long as you could color match the gray um but it was like way too expensive for all the work that would have like it would need done to it so didn't get that but if it goes on sale at a good price I will end up picking that up if it's still available so okay now that that's done let's go to what I did find but like I said there were some really great gems at the store I'm just gonna like bidding my time till they go on sale um but I did end up getting the suede hat I thought this was such a cute hat and it's by a brand called vnl vnl new york right there uh i don't know if you guys have ever heard of it uh but the hat was only five dollars i thought it was a good deal for a hat that was all lambskin 100 percent lambskin on the tag they did kind of like start painting it like underneath here like the hats i mean like the hat like the hats the hearts the hearts are not like the ugliest so they're not gross um i don't hate them but i think i can just paint over them if anything they're not like my most favorite part of the hat and then there was uh some like embossing or something going on in the back of the hat like i don't know if this was like a sample hat or if someone was just like trying it out on their own but they did do that they also did tr i think they tried to gold leaf the top of the hat right there and as well as these two buttons on there i am probably going to paint them <laughs> and try to do something with that and then there's also kind of like a little staining right here on the side so i'm going to try and clean the hat a little bit and see how much of that we can get off. I think it will be a cool project. And this is suede. I feel it's suede or nubuck. I can't really tell. I think it might be suede. 
Um, but it's a really cute hat. Other than that, like, I think the style is really cool. I really like the color, so I want to try to preserve the color as much as I can. Uh, and then, yeah, like, this heart. <laughs> <laughs> the hearts on the bottom just make me laugh, but I think I can just paint over them with lots of layers of white acrylic paint and then try to do like a nude color to match it. So I think that'll be really pretty um, if I can fix that up. So yeah, got this hat. I thought that was a cool find. Then as I was leaving and I went through like the home goods section just really quick. I cannot believe that I found these two blue hydro flasks. I thought it was really funny. Um, they're both like a little dented, but I feel like I'm gonna like have the kids use these as their like outside cup things. Like they have the ones that they have that they keep inside the house for like school when they go to their like to the loft area where they have like their like makeshift classroom and they drink their drinks there. I think these I'm gonna have them like because they still like will sometimes bring them outside with them when they go scootering or whatnot and then they'll drop them and all that stuff and then I think these will be great to have like as outside um, hydro flasks. I know that sounds ridiculous but I mean they're already banged up so there's no fear of them getting any more banged up than they already are. Um, but other than that, like, they they might be banged up, but they're still perfectly usable. I opened them up, looked inside, and they still look fantastic. There's no punctures or anything inside, so I think they'll, they'll be totally fine. Plus, I also do want to practice painting on these. I think this would be a great canvas to practice painting on, because I want to try and, like, paint these guys up and see if I can do some cool stuff with them. And, yeah, so... Got these. Oh, this the larger one was actually only two dollars, which is super cheap, and it comes with the um, like this mouthpiece, and then this one is the one that twists. Um, I might, I uh, I'm probably definitely gonna replace this one at least, but I think I'll just get two to replace both of them so that the kids can use them a lot easier. Uh, this like, opening and closing this is a little too cumbersome for the kids, and I got Zach. This one at the store when I thrifted his uh, regular Hydro Flask, I replaced the top with one of these and he loves it and it's so easy for him to drink out of it. So I'm just going to do that then I'm just going to clean these intensely in the inside and then we'll be good to go. And I'm going to, oh, these also have like those, uh, like I think they got like, what are those, what are these called? Um, I don't know what they're called, but you know, like you can cut them out on your like cry cut cry cricket cry cut things and vinyls they have like these vinyl things on them so they both have vinyls on them this one has a little fox and this has o oh, for fox not bad word sake uh and then this one has a cute little cockatiel and just a little i think that's a hyacinth but I'm just going to take that off. This one's already coming off. So I can strip them off, clean them up, and they'll be good to go. And so I got those two. Man, I'm really chatty today. I, I apologize. But you guys know, if you guys have been to the channel, you guys know how chatty Kathy I am. Um, and then last but not least, this one was the most exciting thing that I found. And... It's like, it was such a good find. I can't believe that I found this. And it is, in fact, authentic. But uh, it is this beautiful Chloe tote. I cannot believe it. A Chloe tote. This is the Paddington too. I don't know if you guys remember, um, like, back in the day, the Chloe Paddington was the bag to have. Uh, and this was the tote version. The, like, the super duper popular, popular, popular version of the bag was the little satchel one that had the lock on it. This one is, I feel like this is the more practical one because this one's, like, large and in charge. And it's beautiful. The leather is stunning. The leather is in fantastic shape. It literally looks like it's, like, the, the leather is so good on this. There's ver there's very little signs of wear on the leather. Uh, all the hardware is intact. It still has the key and it has the lock. And you guys know if you guys have ever held 
the Chloe Paddington. This lock weighs a gazillion pounds. And I know a lot of people will just normally like take the lock off but the bag gets too heavy and it's like a lot better. <laughs> but the lock is very intense. But it's very rare to find a Paddington, a Chloe Paddington, let alone a Chloe Paddington at the thrift that still has the key and the lock. So that was very rare. And I'm very excited to have found it. Uh, but yeah, the bag is in great shape. It's expandable, like you can actually open this up. The bag will expand just a little bit. Um, the interior... Looks like this. Right there. And I don't know if it was like, was it repaired or something? Because it looks shorter. But I don't think, um... I think it was supposed to be like this. And here's the little serial number right there. And then there's the little Chloe stamp right there. And there's also a back pocket right here. Perfect for your cell phone, your keys, whatever you want to put in there. But this bag is gorgeous. I really actually like this style better than the satchel. Um, and... The, the straps are nice and long. Um, you can carry it on your shoulder. It is a little bit of a tight squeeze, but I have a large arm and it still fits inside and it still fits on here on my shoulder. So I'm pretty excited about it. It's really, really beautiful. And this was a little pricey at $35, but well worth it because this bag is a stunner. It probably went for over $1,000 retail at the store when it came out so uh, but that is gonna be the end of the video thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today hope you guys had fun let me know if you guys have found anything cool recently at the thrift store because i always love hearing about your finds as well let me know what you guys think i should try painting on these or what i should do with them um i really want to paint some fun stuff so these are perfect i like won't be scared to mess them up because they were so cheap one was two dollars one was five dollars i love you guys so so much tune in to today's vlog it's up at 11 the new thrifting video goes up tomorrow but early at 7 a.m and I hope to see you guys all then. Alright, bye!